Hi, everybody. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> We're back. Night before Thanksgiving. Happy holidays, everybody. Yeah, we hope that you are having a, a safe and, and happy Thanksgiving tomorrow. And thank you for spending a little time with us this evening here on Inside Live with Alice and Freebo. And our very, very special guest, Ellis Paul. Yes, if Ellis is... Well, go ahead, Al. Well, you go ahead. Well, I was going to say, if, if you don't know who Ellis is, uh, you'll certainly know by the end of the show, but uh, Ellis is uh, certainly one of the, let, let's call it the luminaries in, in folk music, and he's more than folk music and Americana, just a brilliant musician, songwriter, incredible singer, guitar player, and a uh, very erudite human being. Yeah, we're, we're so excited to have him tonight. I, I've known of Ellis's music for a long time. He came up in the Boston folk scene, and so I had, I had been familiar for a while. I met him at a house concert a few years ago. I was opening for a wonderful singer named Ancha Duvacott for a number of years in the Boston area, and she brought me to a house concert where I got to meet Ellis, and it's been really wonderful getting to know him better over the years, and you know, we're all part of the folk family. This is the folk family show. Yeah, this is definitely <laughs> the folk show. Ne next week is not going to be folk, Jimmy Vivino. But this week is folk. Hello, like I said, Ellis is more. Should we bring let's, him in? Let's, let's bring him in. So no, let's just keep talking about him. Yeah, let's keep talking. Okay. About him. All right. Fine. <laughs> I see him there. He's backstage. Crazy. He's got his guitar and everything. Hey. Hey. Guys. hey. Great to see you. Ellis, how are Hi, you? Oh, I'm doing all right. Oh, sorry. Oh wait, wait. I can't hear you. Hold on. I can't hear you. Uh oh. I see. You. I hear you. I hear you guys. Fine. What is oh. happening? Looks like you're talking. I am. Uh, Let's make sure that everything. <clears throat> I'm confused. Uh, we'll oh, find ah, out. there you are. There oh, you are. Oh, I know what's happening. I'm sorry. Oh my you god. You got it? Yes. Woo! I had a couple of things happening at the same time. <laughs> Hi, Alice. <laughs> Hi. Good to see you guys. Good to see good you to too. See Thanks you for too. being here with us. Happy how, to be here. How are things? How's Things life? are okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm happy to be so close to Thanksgiving. With um, you know, we're all I think we're collectively seeing a light at the end of the tunnel. Yeah. Hopefully, um, yes. it, it's going to be a difficult journey to get there, but I think uh, we may have a great year by this time next year. Hopefully, the planet will be kind of back to towards I a little sure bit more normal. I hope so. I hope so. But you've been really just doing such an amazing job staying busy in this time. I. I sent out a newsletter today just kind of giving a little backstory on you and, and saying how much I admire just your ingenuity during this time. And, and you've been doing so much with your Patreon and so many online shows. And it's just, it's really great oh, stuff. thank you. Yeah. I'm, I'm lucky because I'm, I'm 30 years into a career. So there's um, a lot of people who love my music and have brought it into their lives. And, uh, yeah. and they circle the wagons during this time, which is an amazing, an amazing thing. And they can't go out, so you know uh, the internet is all we have. And fortunately, yes. you guys are doing great shows, and um, as, as a, are you. Yeah. And it's a great place to, to hang, and and so nice when you have friends that you when we get to share some time time together on camera, which is great. It's it's really great, and thanks for having me on your show a couple weeks ago. Oh, you're you're very welcome. It's nice to welcome. return the favor. Yeah. So, would you start us off with a song? Sure. Okay. This is one from my new album, my uh, newish, newish album. Great. What's that album it, called? It's called uh, uh, The Traveling, uh, sorry, The uh, Storyteller Suitcase. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm confusing with a Patreon album I just put out as well. <laughs> yeah. Yes. This is called uh, I Ain't No Jesus. Jesus never saved his soul, 
never walked on water except ice and snow. There's a rumor in the choir, I'm just the luckiest guy they know. But I ain't no Jesus, never saved a soul. I ain't no Buddha, oh I struggle with wrong from right. I ain't no Prince of Peace, I've hit the floor in a good bar fight. I'll ask forgiveness on Sunday, asking for trouble Saturday night. But I ain't no Buddha, I struggle with wrong from right. Let me get that tune first, hold on. Now I can walk on water, can't part the sea. The only miracle I see is you walking down the aisle with me. No, I can't talk to God. I ain't divine. Only miracle I see is I. I ain't no carpenter, I'm more sailor than sane. I'll put a hammer on the thumbnail, swear so loud they close heaven's gates. But I built you a four post bed, now darling, don't make me wait. I ain't no carpenter, I'm more sailor than sane. Do I can't? Walk on water, can't part the sea. Only miracle I see is you walking down the aisle to me. Though I can't talk to God, I ain't divine. Only miracle I see is I. tuning issue there no way i'm always so impressed when uh, artists can actually fix that in the moment i would just be <laughs> uh, oh I, I i panic i gotta work on that <laughs> you know what the greatest thing about being in the biz for a while alice Tell is me. that you get so comfortable with the mistakes you know you, st you, you stop taking them seriously 
That's, yeah. That's something I really look forward to. <laughs> uh, I, that, that, that happened to me as, as a bass player, Ellis. I mean, I, I mean, it's like who's listening to every single note that the bass player is playing, right? But when you're focused on it, you make a mistake. Ah, I hate that. Yeah. And right. I, it took, took me years to get to the point where if I made a mistake, I just laugh. First, I start to laugh at myself. And then I got a point where I just laugh out loud. And yeah. It's, it's really easy to pressure. It's very freeing. <laughs> it is, yeah. And I hope you get to that point. But I understand you want you want to you wanna be great every time, but um yeah. you know, it's it's, it's not gonna happen. Yeah. We're we're human. I, Ellis, I wanna ask you, you know, how did you get started at this? I a lot of our listeners maybe haven't heard your music before and and could you tell us about some of your musical influences growing up and, and yeah. kind of how you got here you know what what's great is I've, i was lucky to be i have two parents that threw crayons my way and instruments <laughs> my way and yes. um you know they didn't want a folk singer because you know they they created a little bit of an uh an artsy kid um uh -huh. And when I was about 26 and 27, they said, what the hell are you doing? You can't do this. Go to law school. Uh, I had that conversation with them, too. But, you know, they went to all the concerts. They did all those things. And because of that, I just developed a, an absolute love for the arts mm -hmm. and and not just music, but, you know, drawing and painting and writing and movies and photography and just a, a complete appreciation the whole for spectrum. it yeah yeah and you know if i didn't wasn't a folk musician i probably would have landed in one of those other creative spaces and 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 tried to make my way in that um yeah. and as far as influences you know i didn't really start writing songs and playing guitar until i was in college and it was like discovering the that late 60s early 70s group of songwriters the the Dillons and the Joni Mitchells and then James Taylor and um, Neil Young's and John Prine's folks like that, that I, I just felt like they were calling me home. And um, I love the sound of an acoustic guitar. What can I say? It's, I've never really grabbed, I have like an, an electric here. There it is. It's a, a beautiful Somewhere Epiphone. Back there. Yeah, yeah. And, and it's a wall hanging. I don't yeah. play it. It's just, it's there if I need it, but uh, there's all, so many people that, have developed, you know, that that electric touch that I don't have. Um, so I'll bring some other folks in to do that on my records. But I just love the acoustic guitar, and I love songwriting, and I love writing. And to me, it's a very visual art form. I feel like I'm creating images in people's heads, and they're watching well, this do. movie and Well, you do. Oh, absolutely. You, you especially, I think, do oh, that. And I, I've always felt that way. I when I think of the songs of yours that I know better, I I think of images for sure. Um, and I didn't know you were also a visual artist until recently I started kind of paying attention and wait a minute, he's, he's drawing and painting these things too. I mean, I saw some beautiful like illustrated lyrics that you had done and it's yeah. very cool. I'm enjoying it. You know, it's, uh, I, I'm the same person I was when I was four or five with the crayons on the floor, you know, trying to get, mm -hmm. make my way to the refrigerator with something that my parents could tack up there. Uh, but now I'm, a, I'm an adult. I'm an adult doing it now. <laughs> now you can put them so, on your own refrigerator. That's right. <laughs> it's my space now. Hey, you yeah. got to gotta keep the kid in you. That's so important, yeah. no matter how old you are. And I was going to ask so you, Ellis, uh, did, did you, was guitar your first instrument of any instrument at all? No, trumpet was, believe it or not. Oh. My, my first school band? Yeah, high school band, stage band. My first concert was Doc Severinsen from the, the Johnny Carson show. Wow. Um, the great Alice is like, who the hell is that? I have no idea. Uh, I, I, he was, yeah, he was like, he was like, he was look on my face. You know who Johnny Carson is, of yeah, course. Yes, 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 yes. He was the band leader uh, for the Johnny Carson show. So, oh, that's right. Yeah, and. Um, so, but you know, it, it wasn't until college, but I think there's something about, again, it's like the acoustic guitar writing, the, the idea of writing and, and then writing visually um, kind of encompasses all the things I love about art in general. And, uh, mm. and, and that's, that's what found me here as a folk musician, I think. Mm. And the other question I wanted to ask you about influence is you have a very unique style of singing. Yeah, what you do with your mouth, miles, you know, it's like a wide open <laughs> stance, like in baseball, yeah. so to speak. And, I mean, you've got a beautiful yeah. voice, but your style is 
is unlike anybody else. I'm, I'm wondering true. how did that come about? I mean, at some point, I know for me, and I'm very late as a singer-songwriter, I had to figure out how to sing, how to pronounce words. How, how did that, what was that process like for you? How did that start and how did it evolve? You know, it's an, it's ever evolving for sure. I sounded like I belonged in some kind of boys choir when I was 25. <laughs> like I sounded like I was 12. Like I was maybe just singing with one testicle or whatever, you know, whatever. <laughs> high, the high notes were absolutely endless. Spot on. And, and every time, um, you know, I'd sit down to write a song, I would see how high I could sing. That was just one of the things I, I did back then. And now I'm in my mid fifties and I've lost, you know, almost an octave off the top. Really? And wow. Yeah. Yeah. Th things have changed. I don't know if you've experienced any of that, Freebo, but, uh, you know, it's not the same voice of the 25 year old version of me. Right. And it's more nuanced. And, and I've done a lot of vocal damage. You're talking to someone who's got 5,000 shows uh, and 20 albums, you know, uh, on this, on these vocal can. chords. <laughs> yeah. And and singing as high as you can. <laughs> right. And bel it. <laughs> belting it out. So, yeah. um, you know, at this point, it's like I feel like a, a shot putter just trying to get the note out. And uh, <laughs> that's why the, the vocal nuances are, are so, uh, you know, it's a physical thing with the face to get them out and sound like that. But Well, that's kind of like, a, I mean, the baseball metaphor would be, you know, a pitcher who doesn't quite have the speed that he used to have. That's right. But he's developed yeah. his curveball and his location and the change of speeds. And uh, it, it's right. all, in, you, you got to do the best with what you got. Sometimes it's better to lose a little bit, you know, and really have to focus on what yeah. you do have and really hone that. It sounds like that's what you've been doing. It has been, yeah. Now I'm writing for the voice I have now, and you're right. It's it's like every note's a knuckleball, you know. It's, <laughs> I'm not throwing 100, 100 mile per hour pitches anymore. Oh. Um, but it's working, and it, it's, uh, you know, I just, I, I love the, the fact that I can breathe a little. You know, mm -hmm. let I, I, I get to, I have an audience and yeah. they're really gracious. They let me do things that uh, and explore things. And uh, so yeah. I'm pretty lucky. Let's go. Hey, would you play another song for us? Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Sure. I do. We just kind of fly by the seat of our pants we here. Do. We do what, oh, feels, what feels right. Whatever that means. I just thought of a, I took one vocal lesson once with this woman in Seattle and, and we were talking about, you know, making faces to hit high notes. And she was like, you don't need to do that, you know? And I was like, yes, you, you sometimes I feel like you do. <laughs> you got to make yeah. that face. One of the funny things is like well, during this pandemic, you know, a lot of people ask you to, hey, can you just record a little video for us to use during our show or whatever? And so you get to see yourself, you record a video and then you watch it back just for quality control. And I'm like, right. I can't believe that I look like that I while know. I'm singing. It is really kind of funny seeing these, all these playbacks all of a sudden. It's like we, we have to be like kind of looking in the mirror all the time. It's like, oof. It's awful. It's up totally close. Awful. It's personal. <laughs> well, this is called You'll Never Be This Young Again, and it's about following your dream no matter what age you are, young or old. Alice, I've been living in a cube. 
cubicle making cold calls Popping pharmaceuticals I thought my whole life Would read more like a musical So write your own West Side Story Shake off a shackle My tackle box a bow A cabin on Sebago to think To float when the typewriter's clacking The novel gets rose I'm telling you now You risk no The train conductor is calling you ten If it ain't now, then when? Oh, the mountain top ain't gonna wait forever Fill your lungs with oxygen And take your first step Breathe out, breathe in You'll never be this young again All right, all right so many heartbeats you only get so many first kisses so sweet drums don't come easy they don't come cheap just don't let her haters kick them out of you That's for sure. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> Believe me. Oh, man. Uh, uh, I love beautiful. how you, you refer to uh, a friend saying, Ellis, I feel like I'm, like you, I, I just love that moment of, of kind of talking to yourself through somebody else. I love that. Right. It's like rap singers do it all the time. Why can't I we? I know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They're always re self-referencing themselves. You know? Yes. So true. Yeah. <laughs> Folk rap. <laughs> Like Sweet Baby James, and James Taylor did it as yes. well. So it's, it's, uh, it's but you fair. know that uh, I, I always thought that James. was about him, but it's really about I think his nephew. Oh, was his nephew named after him? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, I didn't him, know that. Heard him talk about that on uh, uh, he was actually reading his I, his book, right? Yeah, it's, uh, but I think it does kind of it's meant to be. Both, I think it could I think, be both. Which yeah. is what's so nice yeah. about it. Yeah. Yeah, he's um, okay. Yeah, he's all right. Actually, when I in, introduced uh, Alice to Bonnie Raitt first time, we went to a concert in Allentown, Pennsylvania. James Taylor and Bonnie Raitt, and uh, it was amazing. You know, I mean, James was incredible. And of course, Bonnie was incredible, and uh, it was really interesting when, uh, uh, at one point, uh, Bonnie just uh, called me out from the stage, which is really cool. And Alice was going, "Oh, free well, that's so cool." And then she said, "And." And, and, and he's here with, with his young singers working with, uh, uh, her name is Alice Howe, and Alice practically fell off the chair. I actually, I actually told this story during the show that I did with Alice. Um, I'm I surprised think, you're yeah, still yeah. here, I, that you didn't I just think, spontaneously burst into flames. And... I, I feel like I did. I, I was suddenly very warm. I had to like remove my coat and sweater, and you know I was like, oh my God, I was screaming. But, but, I but don't remember. The, the, the next, day, <laughs> next day, she was a much better singer, so, you know. <laughs> Right, she, it it does. It knocks you some, some, some dust stardust. Yes. Imagine like doing a show and having Bonnie Raitt and James Taylor walk through the crowd and sit in the chair in the front row. Oh. <laughs> that would totally you screw had that you. I, I haven't no, but God, it would kill me if, if it <laughs> happened. I mean, I, I think I would freeze. Oh I would gosh. like blubber. I'd have a seizure <laughs> on stage. <laughs> I feel like I've had that experience at Folk Alliance of just it not, you know, 
quote unquote famous star people, but just anybody that you expect to come watch you. The first couple times I was at those conferences where even with Freebo, the first time we met, he came to listen to me and, you know, someone's sitting like two feet away from you and oh, suddenly yeah. you have to like slightly look over the yeah, tops uh, of their heads right, and pretend that they're not there. And yeah. It's so she awkward. Could not, she could not look at me. And I told yeah. her, I said, you know, sometimes you got to look at the people. Well, in the and it's true. <laughs> you got to stare through the, the fear. Just yeah. look at them. Yeah, right, right, right. Well, I think um, Why don't you do maybe, a maybe song I'll play though? a song. Yeah, All right. love okay. to hear you. Okay, we'll see you in a second. Okay. <laughs> and maybe I'll just take this opportunity to mention, um, first of all, thank you all so much for watching. I've seen a couple people say where they're watching from. We've got, um, we've got somebody in South Wales, our friend Dara. We've got... Um, I believe we've got a couple folks in California. If you want to say where you're watching from, I'd, I'd love to see. Here we go. See, South Wales. Hello from South Wales. Yes. Um, so nice to have everybody uh, tuning in. And we are going to do two giveaways tonight, right? We are. We are. Uh, the same giveaway that we've had the last couple weeks, which is uh, Cordial Chords, which, by the way, Ellis, I don't think we told you, but... Uh, we're all using these cordial cords. They're very special. Yeah. It's oh, the nice. only cord you'll ever need. Lifetime it, guarantee. It, lifetime guarantee. <laughs> and uh, you get you get the cord yep. of your choice for Ellis being our, our guest on the show. And so does one lucky oh. winner. So nice. does one lucky winner. And how did it get that, Alice? How did that happen? Well, actually, um, as you are, ooh, everyone's telling us we were, sorry, they're telling me where they're watching from. Now I have to oh. say Melbourne, Melbourne, Australia. Ewing, New Jersey. We've got Ewing, New Jersey. Chicago. We got Chicago. Hollywood. We got North Hollywood. I love it. Connecticut. Alberta. Very cool. Thanks, guys. Thanks for, thanks for sharing. Bakersfield. Bakersfield. Hey, Steve. Hey, Baco. Um, so what was I saying? Right. In the same chat in which you are telling me right now where you are watching from, please um, just say, like, I would love to win a cable, something like that, to make it obvious that you're entering this giveaway, and we will pick somebody before the end of the show. So you have to keep watching. Don't go away. <laughs> yes, we'll probably do it right at the end. So, And then the other giveaway is uh, a pound of delicious, freshly roasted, fair trade coffee from our friends at Fair Trade Coffee Company. Also, um, our his friend name, Arpy. Arpy Maros, yep. and uh, I, we're drinking it right now. Ta -da. Thank you, Arpy. Delicious. You get to choose your roast, your grind, um, and we're so grateful to him for um, donating that tonight. So the way we're going to pick that winner, if you're keeping track, sorry, this is really complicated. We don't know what we're doing with these giveaways. We're yes, doing we our do. best. Okay, we do know. More or less. Um, <laughs> We know this. We know that we've picked a number between <laughs> 1 and 100. Yes. And Alice and I both know it. We picked and, it. I wrote it down even. She wrote it down. And are, are they going to, are these people going to send in a number and then the one that we see is the closest to the number we pick, which we'll show at the end of the show, that person wins a pound of their favorite coffee. From this wonderful company. So and Either ground or not ground. Number one, tell us you want a cable. Number two... Tell us a number between 1 and 100, um, and we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. <laughs> this is the first time we've done it with the coffee. Uh, oh, you also get a T-shirt. That's right. Yeah, you if, get a Cordial T-shirt. A Cordial T-shirt as well, which is very cool. You get one of those too, Alice. Just tell us what size. Okay. And now it's time to sing the song. <laughs> not too late I played in my hand I gotta leave the rest to fate I could lie here crying I could use my hands my chips are gone I can't make no more demands cause I'm getting Bye. 
mind He can read me line by line My daddy everybody let's bring our friend alice back someday i'm gonna get bluetooth headphones i swear to god <laughs> hello that was a beautiful song nice job oh thanks yeah it's a it's a newer one i'm i'm excited to get back in the studio someday <laughs> to officially record that with a really great band down in muscle shoals freebo and i were there last september and um, we'll be heading back, hopefully, next year, I guess, at this point. When but we can. It's yeah. all good. <laughs> Had yeah. more time to write <laughs> in the meantime. Yeah, in the meantime, take advantage of the freedom of, of time and space. I That's am. exactly what I say all the time. I mean, uh, you know, back to the sports metaphors, I would say, you know, take what the defense gives you. Yeah. And the defense is giving us exactly that, time and space. So it's really all about, you know, acceptance and, and it's there. and. Yeah. You know, I mean, it, it really provides a lot of opportunities. Uh, from what I understand, a lot of reading, a lot of families are getting uh, closer together. Yeah. Uh, for us, getting our streaming thing together, mm -hmm. writing, being more creative. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It can be, be very special. Hey, I, I was just thinking, you guys are both ex-jocks, uh, right? Athletes, aren't you? We, well, it, I, I read am. that I in Ellis's well. bio. <laughs> I was a I, I was a distance runner, so I don't know oh. if that qualifies as jock. jock. That oh. that means distance runners are the guys that can't make the football team and the basketball team. But uh, but yeah, I did I did run in college and got a scholarship and uh, state oh. champion in Maine, nineteen eighty two, wow. baby. That's right. Yeah, yeah I thought you, I man. read that. Yeah. Well, yeah. I, I was an all state football player back in Pennsylvania. All right, what position? <laughs> Believe it or not, fullback on offense and a safety on defense. Wow, um, and how, old, you're pretty we, tall. We, we we played both ways, man. Yeah, uh, <laughs> that's a lot of work. It is. A lot of work. <laughs> now you're over six feet tall, aren't you, Freebo? Yeah, I'm six two. Six two. That's pretty yeah. tall for a fullback. 
Yeah, well, it was it was it was a weird time. I was. Did you I, have I, helmets back then? I was very determined. <laughs> Did you have like those leather? Did you have like a wooden helmet? No, le- leather. We had leather helmet. <laughs> oh my god! Leather high top shoes. Leather pants. Yeah. We had like about twenty five pounds of equipment. Wow. Yeah, that's those were the days. <laughs> Tell yeah. You. It's a good thing I still have half a brain left. <laughs> Yeah, concussions, right? The like that's that's why I was a distance runner. No pain, no pain as yeah. far as concussions. Well, kind of, and, I guess you're sort of on your own with that. You, you it's only you're you are your competition, right? Just to yeah, for the most to, part. I mean, there's there's some team team aspects to it, but it's 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 a lot less than football is, and and basketball oh, yeah. and soccer. The but as far the, as cross. becoming well known, I mean, Roger Bannister did all right for himself, you know. He sure did. You know, yeah, he's quite the icon. He did, and now you know the world record. That was around 1954. That was the four-minute mile, and now the record mm-hmm. for the mile is at 3:43. Wow, unbelievable! And wow. Uh, I just I can't even imagine. It's like a solid sprint. Oh my God! The whole time. <laughs> yeah. I think yeah. I ran about a 13-minute mile. Huh. <laughs> Maybe that, last time I. Congratulations! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'd be lapped twice. I mean, I. I I still run once in a while. Getting out there and doing an eight-minute mile is like it's an accomplishment oh, for me. Absolutely. Yes. Oh my no goodness. Well, this uh, is not about music at all, but I just wanted to put you guys on the spot about that because. Oh, we love yeah. talking about the glory days. I know. Yeah. Bring you right. back. <laughs> Alice, yeah. while I uh, put my guitar on, why don't you tell them about some of our other sponsors? Oh yes. Well, Alice, you get to hear about our sponsors. Oh, nice. Did you know that you get a free cordial? instrument cable from being I love, on our show hey i love that they look beautiful they are so nice and we are um we're really happy to be working with norman's rare guitars many of you are watching on norm's channel ellis have you ever been to norm's in la or heard of it i haven't i haven't been there i've heard of it but I, i've never been there it's an well when you come store. to town you got to stop by and, and say we sent you and and norm okay. will sit you, sit you down and he'll have you do a song um, on the couch in the store and and Jen who's helping us tonight will take a video of you and and if you're like me you'll you'll think oh this is fun this is nice I'm just doing a video no big deal and then the next day they'll be like 47,000 views and it. so oh, make wow. sure you wear yeah. a nice shirt when you go okay i'll bring the tie do your hair yeah, there you go. <laughs> so you know, what, what's really cool too is you, you get to pick any guitar you know off the oh shelf, that's dangerous you, and you can pick yeah. a twenty thousand oh, dollar guitar and, you know, and have stuff. fun with it whatever oh my Electric gosh acoustic. yeah it's cool the selection is amazing so thank you to norms thank you to rock seller magazine thanks to alert the globe who are broadcasting our show for us across the world which is very cool Fishman Amplifiers. We've got our Loudbox artist back here. We've been Thank they've you, been Chris. super generous with us and given mm-hmm. us a couple of those and uh, the Audio Technica mics that we're using. Mm-hmm. I think that covers it. Wow. We've got a lot of nice people that have given us really nice stuff and we like talking about it. Sounds pretty professional, <laughs> doesn't it, Ellis? It does. Like I'm yeah. jealous. You guys have a lot of support out there by the yeah. big wigs. Well, we're we're working we're on trying. it. We're working on you got to work it, you know. Got to Yeah. It's you know it's um, going to Nam was really um, was really helpful for kind of connecting with some of those like gear folks. I, I love yeah, that. Absolutely. I didn't. Have you ever been to Nam, Alice? I haven't. I, I'm you know it's a dangerous place for someone who it's has a, a problem with acoustic <laughs> well, guitars. Is. <laughs> Nam is a place where you can do fun things like play a quiet folk song in the drum room. Like yeah, my yeah. showcase was. <laughs> next to wow. the like Ouch. demo of all the snares which was really funny it was still fun <laughs> all right Revo, why don't you play a song yeah i'd love to okay. play a song and uh ellis i know you were talking about you know obviously with the election and uh uh i would say for probably 70 uh, percent of america it's a it's a happy time uh it is for me uh for for i guess for the trumpsters it, it's not and uh, my heart goes out to you. Uh, I did my best to support him uh, as I could, uh, you know. And uh, but I, I think what what, wouldn't no matter what side you're on, uh, both sides seem to have missed uh, a segment of the population uh, that's been uh, underserved and underseen, and uh, and very much neglected, and that's the homeless population. Uh, you know, obviously, there are a lot of poor people in this country, and uh, who've gotten much poorer. Uh, during uh, this COVID period, and uh, I'm, I'm guessing more and more people have become homeless. 
So uh, in the folk world, and I haven't been in the folk world as long as you, Alice. I came in about 20 years ago. But uh, you know, I, I certainly was there you know, somewhat with Bonnie uh, back in the day and played with Maria Muldaur. And uh, I love the tradition of the folk world where you can talk about certain issues. So uh, I wanted to write a song about homelessness. And I got together with my good friend Karen Taylor Good. And uh, we wrote this song uh, probably about seven, six, seven, eight years ago. And uh, it wasn't conceived as a duet, but once I started working with uh, Alice, uh, we turned it into that. So I'd like to share it with you and our listeners. It's called When There's No Place Like Home. Let me take my headphones off here. There we go. I had my job and I had my pride But they shipped them both to China And it ripped a hole inside They took my house last summer Now I'm hungry, cold and scared no place like home and you're out on your own you feel abandoned and alone when there's no place like home I think I might need There's to be like muted. I had a sneezing fit. Turn off Alice's microphone, please. Alice, yeah, um, I had a sneezing <laughs> fit. <laughs> and I'm so sorry. Yeah. I don't understand why you weren't muted, though. That's so strange. <laughs> No was idea. That, was that you who didn't mute him? Ellis, would you, would you mute yourself? Yeah, oh, I, yeah. I, I, I thought uh, that I when I, I thought that when I sent you away, it would mute you, which is what it usually does. You're yeah. allowed to sneeze backstage. Um, sorry, everybody. I'm going to, we're going to try this again. Freebo. And I think people want to hear you guys a little bit louder. Okay. I'm going to turn us up and I'm, we're gonna I would support. suggest you do it. Let's do it from the top and I'll, uh. <laughs> I'll go blow my nose. Okay, Alice. Just, just hit the, I think there's a mute button down below. You can okay, hit the yeah, little, I think I s- little mic. I see it. Or, or stop sneezing, one or the other. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh, here we live, go. Live here we music. Go. Here we go. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm thinking that maybe uh, somebody thought it was a homeless person who's sneezing, and we, we figure we'd throw in something, something I'm, human I'm into the dying. soundtrack. I'm really glad I got over my perfectionism. <laughs> <laughs> well, everybody, if you have enjoyed the sneezing, could you please send us a tip? Yeah, we'd appreciate that. It'll help us with our sound engineering. <laughs> oh, my God. All right. I'm job and I had my pride but they shipped them both to China 
and it ripped a hole inside. They took my house last summer. Now I'm hungry, cold, and scared. And I'm wondering, does anybody care? When there's no place like home, and you're out on your own. You feel abandoned and alone When there's no place like home I used to be a hero The strong, the proud, the few When duty called, I stood up tall No hero's welcome waited when his damaged soul returned. Uncle Sam, don't give a damn, that's what I learned. When there's no place like home, and you're out on your own, you feel abandoned and alone. When there's no place like home Please don't look right past me A simple smile could help me make it through I could be you If home is where the heart is then where's the heart supposed to go? When your living room's a cardboard box And your address is Skid Row If a man's home is his castle And the place where he is king What happens when he loses everything? When there's no place like home And you're out on your own You feel abandoned and alone When there's no place like home When there's no place like home felt like sneezing in the middle of that one. <laughs> um, before we bring Ellis back, I just want to say that we have somebody who picked the exact number. Really? Yeah. Um, well, and there's nobody it's, from your family. No, it's our friend Vincent. <laughs> Vincent, you were just like oh, this man. lucky Vincent's guy. Oh, man. Vincent's killing it in the um, last couple of weeks. I just want to show you guys that um, the number I chose was 53, and there is the proof. Thank you, Peter. 53. Mm -hmm. The number of my mom's house um, back in Boston, so has significance for me. And Vincent, you will be getting a pound of coffee, um, and we will definitely be picking somebody for the cable um, towards the end of the show. But let's bring Alice back. Hey, and, and those of you bring who commented on the song, thank you very much. Appreciate. Somebody said, you know, when Alice, hey, Alice. sings, it really, really lights it up, and it's true. I mean, she could sing just about yeah. anything. And Thanks. Just, light up the room so it's nice nice to have you as a partner in anything that i sing is thank you it's a beautiful song thank you it sure yeah. is <laughs> i loved it you know i'm so sorry to interrupt it with um <laughs> this little cold this little cold i've had for two weeks honestly i i find that to be just very charming what just happened it was kind of charming <laughs> We got I'm glad I didn't, here. you know, do anything else. <laughs> I Honestly, like that's really kind of alarming because yeah. I'm under the impression that when I do this thing that I do, that you're muted and like, what if? 
I have no idea how to mute I'm, myself still, so I'm going to be very, very <laughs> quiet. Yeah, I, I thought it happened automatically, doesn't it? Um, huh? I was so did I. That impression, too. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, Ellis, before you get too sick to play, why don't you sing another song? Oh, sure. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going <laughs> on about California. Oh, yes. You know, there's that Pacific Coast Highway. Have you guys done that trip up oh, to Big yeah. Sur? Absolutely. Yeah. Have you been to Alice? I've actually never been to Big Sur, but I've driven oh, parts of Lord. the highway. It's so beautiful. It's like almost drive off the road beautiful because you're like looking well, at the you gotta, beautiful. You really better, better be the passenger because if you're the driver, oh, man. you look too yeah. much, you could uh, have a serious fall. Well, this song is about the impact of that highway, uh, and, yeah. it, and it's called Slingshot. earbuds out because they're going to fall out eventually here Up and the moon is rising, laying a blanket of white on the ocean for you. Are you living in the moment now? Two lane highway in California, beautiful woman beside you. Yeah. Scolding you, are you living in the moment now? The world could use a hero. Back in so I can hear you guys. 
Are you there? Oh, thank you. Just want to make sure I'm connected here. Oh, you're right. <laughs> Sorry. I was so concerned there, about muting good. us that I just... Can you hear us now? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, we're good. We're good. Yeah, beautiful song, man. And uh, since we have so many people watching from Norma's Rare Guitars and yeah. uh, uh, a lot of guitar geeks and fans, I'm yeah. sure a lot of people are going to want to know what kind of guitar is that you're playing. Beautiful guitar. Yeah. It sounds this great, is, but look beautiful This is a as well. Taylor Custom guitar. It's um, It's got some beautiful touches, three horses mm. running up the neck. Oh, man. And it's Coca Bolo. So I call it mm -hmm. I call it Guinness because it looks like a a pour of Guinness totally in does. a glass. Yes. And all my guitars have names, but that's this one. You know, I was in Los Angeles at a guitar store, and I fell in love with this Martin guitar, but it was really expensive, and uh, I couldn't afford to buy it. And I flew home, and uh, later I called them and said, you know, I want to come and get it, and. And they said, yeah, it's still here. So it took about a week or so to fly back to Los Angeles. And when I finally got there, um, I found out that Neil Young had come into the store and bought the guitar that I wanted. Oh, man. Which was heartbreaking, oh, you know. Um, I just but assumed it, it was... But at least it shows you have good taste anyway. That's good. Yeah, it does. And then um, about uh, six months later, you know, I found this guitar. And, and at that point, I had said to myself... You know, I'm never gonna let another guitar hurt me like that. I'm just not gonna. <laughs> I'm not gonna buy any more guitars. The but then I saw, away. I saw Guinness, and uh, it was at a store in in Oklahoma, and huh. uh, the I fell in love with it. I'm like, maybe I could put it on a layaway, but it it was a ten thousand dollar guitar, like incredibly expensive, mm. not anything I could afford. And um, I was talking to the guy uh, who owned the store, and he said, Yeah, you know, uh, tomorrow. Neil Young stopping by. <laughs> and so I said, you know, here's two grand, put it on layaway. And it took me many years, but I finally uh, paid wow. for it. And uh, and now it's mine. Yeah, but fool me less, once less, there. Less exactly. Yeah. exactly. Oh my exactly. gosh. Yeah. Neil Young just following you around, stealing never getting a Never get in a bidding war with Neil Young. Just no, beat him to the punch. To put on, yeah, you want to put on layaway, that's for sure. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <That's> right. <laughs> no, yeah. right. Oh, cool. Anyway. That's a great story. Um, somebody asked also, what is, what's the neck made out of? Is it a maple neck, somebody asked? Uh, you know, I'm not sure what the... the it, it possibly could Maybe be Maybe it's mahogany. Yeah. yeah. It's beautiful. I, I love how the Coca Bolo has it, it, that amazing patterning. It's so cool. No, the yeah. pattern is cool. Is, is it an ebony fretboard? What kind of fretboard is it? It's... Um, I think the, it might be a mahogany fretboard. And... Yeah. But I'm not sure. I don't know. I, it's Adirondack spruce on the top, Coca Bolo on the nice. sides Ooh, and back. Yeah, yeah. Gorgeous. And um, yeah. it, and it was picked by um, the guy that runs Taylor's, Robert Taylor. Uh, uh -huh. And he he made it for the guitar store in Oklahoma. Um, nice. But man, it is it is a gorgeous guitar, and it sounds it really so sounds nice good. in the room. Yeah, it's hard not yeah. to fall in love with it. Oh, it's so yeah. Nice. What what tuning was that you were playing in? That was what I call open Joni. It's a, a open. It's a Joni Mitchell tuning. It's open oh. G, with the bass down to C. Uh -huh. So it's C G D G B E. Cool. Um, and just a really expressive. It's got all these dark, dark corners to it. Like, mm. ooh. It's got some really depth in depth major, major, major chords, but just that. That minor oh, position man. just you're gonna have oh, to yeah. play around. So with when that. you're coming out of the one chord, assuming it's a C, oh, yeah, the can... capo is 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 it basically a ninth. Yeah, like a minor ninth in that position. Like it's it just got it's a nice oh. sort of you know suspended chord there. Mm -hmm. Nice. Yeah, it's gorgeous. Beautiful. Yeah. Shall I play another song? Yeah, why don't you play another song? Though? Please okay. do. All right, here we go. <laughs> First, I want to say who won our cable giveaway. Oh, we have a winner? We have a winner. I'm going to put their name up on here because I finally figured out how to do that. His name is Brent, and he's watching from Redwood City, California. All right. And Brent is our winner for tonight, so congrats, Brent. Um, Cordial will send an order form to you, so you can actually 
head to my website alicehow.com and there's a contact form on there and you can just fill it out and shoot me a message and then I will put you in touch that's probably the easiest way to do it and um, we'll get you your t-shirt and cable so thanks for playing everybody Um, let's uh, do this again and just one more thing about cordial cables I'm not sure if Alice mentioned it but uh, the fact that it's it, the, the alloy is made of is basically uh, all copper, but uh, it's not only they give it a lifetime guarantee, but uh, it it has little to no resistance whatsoever. So it actually does sound better. We had one of the people from Norman's Rare Guitars use it with his with his rack, and he says the first time he hasn't had any buzzing mm-hmm. in his rack. So there, it's a pretty amazing instrument. So yeah. you might not have won, but uh, mm-hmm. if you're serious about your sound. You might want to check it out. Go to uh, Cordial Cables USA, mm-hmm. is that right? Mm-hmm. And uh, check that out. Yeah. And I just want to thank some of you that have sent us tips. Um, I'm seeing some of them come in. Chris, uh, Chris Thomas, Don Matthews. We got Ron Lewis, John Jack, Pat Dini. Thank you, Pat. Stephanie, Mike Edwards, Darlene. Thank, thank you, you all so much for Chris. sending in some donations tonight. And... Um, we're still taking donations. If you are able to spare oh, something it. for us, uh, we split it three ways between the artists, and it really helps us a lot. So well, help is how we make a living, folks. Yeah. And, and Chris know. Thomas, interesting. I'm not sure if that's Chris Thomas from Martin. Uh, if it is, hello. Both Alice and I play Martin guitars. I've got a 64 D28 uh, that I play that I just love. And Alice, what is yours? Mine is a custom, um, actually custom shop. It's kind of like an OM21, but it's got an Engelman spruce top, and it's, yeah, it's East Indian rosewood back and sides, and has this special little uh, Ditson-style rosette around the sound hole, and I I bought it at Dusty Strings Music in Seattle, Washington. It was uh, designed much like Alice's guitar designed for the shop, and um, yeah, I love it. Right. I'm going to play a song. All right, good idea. <laughs> it's one I wrote for my dad. It's called <coughs> Nothing But You. I'm going to just make sure. Definitely want to be in tune for this. Other songs, maybe not. But yeah, no, this one, they're going <laughs> to. Do you want to take your headphones off, Reba? I just. I don't know. Sometimes you forget, so yeah, I just want to let I you know. I forget. I forgot that time. <laughs> They're so warm and They're cozy. Not warm and fuzzy. <laughs> I can hear much better. Gone in a flash. Gone in a flame. Gone in the dark. Gone when I call your name Under a wave Under the ground Under my skin And still you hardly make a sound Nothing but 
Thank you all so much for seeing your comments coming in. Thank you. Really, really, really nice to see that. Appreciate it very much. Well deserved. Feels like you're in the room with me. Mm -hmm. Hey, Ellis. Beautiful song. <laughs> oh, thanks. You guys sound great together. Thank really. you. It's been... Uh, such a treat. Um, oh, Freebo can't hear you right now. Oh. That's okay. <laughs> I'll just compliment him. His bass playing, to me, the, like, I, I just don't know of anyone who plays the bass like Freebo. It's just so melodic, and it's a beautiful counter melody, and I just oh, I just you. love it. I When I play that song by myself now, I, I always um, miss your notes. Like, I hear them. I almost want to sing them. Like, okay, this Thank is you. where he would do the boom. <laughs> like, I can hear it. I'm like, oh. uh, you should avoid singing them. Yeah, that's not good. Yeah. <laughs> There's nothing about you that can make a bass bum, note. Bum, bum, bum. <laughs> no, I don't do that. Oh my oh, gosh. Thank you. Thank um, you. I guess uh, Freebo, you should play a song. Yeah. We'll, well, um, keep it, keep it rolling. I, I think I'm gonna, go. I'm gonna stay in that, stay in that vein and do something sweet. Uh, <laughs> Do something sweet. Something sweet. And uh, I think uh, what the world needs now is love, sweet love. Amen to that. And uh, this is a song, uh, another song I wrote with Karen Taylor Good, uh, one of my favorite co-writers, a wonderful writer out of Nashville. And uh, we wrote this song uh, again some time ago. And, Ellis, you know how songs come about in so many different ways. This one came about, I had this double capo configuration on here. Which kind of like a dad gad thing. And I did That's coming amazing. Out of this, I came out of this. That's so awesome. I started playing this progression like that. And it went up. Wow. And it would come up some more. I love how you're playing between them. Nice. And 
funny. Gorgeous. Chord. And um, at the end of it, I came up, that's what love is. And I thought I backed myself into a corner because now that's the end of it. So I got to rhyme something with it before. And I uh, couldn't come up with anything, but Karen sure did. So I love this song. And I want to share it with all of you. And, uh, if only we could find more love because there's been a lot of fear. The uh, opposite of fear is love. It's a whisper you hear In the midst of your fear It's revealing It's a part of the heart And it's just who we are It's so healing It's a power inside Always wins over pride Never judges And it strengthens and comforts us all that's what love is It's a healer of souls Makes the broken ones whole and completed It's what gives you the strength and the hope When you're feeling defeated It's a compass and guide And it won't be denied So we trust it It's the light in the dark of it all That's what love is And it's patient and kind And it's deaf, dumb and blind To the madness It's the ace of the dealer of truth It's the healer of sadness It's a place that you know from so long, long ago And it's free And you feel when it's there Cause you're able to share from your being And it takes us all higher And it lifts and inspires all it touches mm. It's the best part of being alive what love is And it's patient and kind And it's deaf, dumb and blind To the madness It's the ace of the dealer of truth It's the healer of sadness It's beyond right or wrong And it's not weak or strong It's not winning for the young and the old, it's a brave and a bold new beginning. It's the peace and the hope, it's what helps us to cope, it's forgiveness. It's the light that will always endure. It's eternal and simple and pure. That's what love is. Thank you, Alice. Beautiful. Gorgeous song. Thank you. Oh, thank you, Vincent. Appreciate that. And thank you, Sue. Excellent. Uh, so nice. Oh, thank you all. It's so Ellis, nice. I hope you're seeing the comments coming in on the side here. Yeah, it's it's That's great. Cool. And there no trolls so far, which I love. Everyone's being really. <laughs> Everyone is being just, very Jen nice tonight. Good job. They're there's in the Thanksgiving no, spirit. There's nobody out there who wants to share their madness. Oh, thank God. They I don't need wanna, no more madness. They just want to embrace their love, which is that's great. Good. Well, that's what love is. Yeah. Ellis, uh, I have a request. I don't know if you have a, a set list planned, but... I don't. I'm just kind of winging it. I, I just love your song, Wasted. I don't know. It's, okay. The chorus just kills me. I 
Sure. I love let that me, song. Uh, let me see if the guitar is ready for that. And now the lyrics, uh, that's, uh, will I remember everything? Let me, I, I could pull the <laughs> lyrics out. Sorry to put you on the spot. But... No, this is good. I, I'm going to pull out the lyrics if you give me just 30 no, seconds. please. Just in case. I've got a three ring binder of love here. You got to do oh, it. Oh, boy. Wow. There you go. That's wow. that's when you know you've made it when you've yeah. got that many songs. <laughs> you know you've made it when you can't. How many songs what have you written, you Ellis? Like. Probably around a thousand. What? Uh, you know. so many songs you've written? Five thousand yeah. shows, a thousand songs. Wow. Oh my goodness. It's and all a of lot. them are really good, right? Uh, every single one is <laughs> Hey Jude. <laughs> right, right. Hey, no. well, those songs had to start somewhere, too. I mean, none of them are Hey Jude. Uh, in, in the three ring binder, the song does not exist, but we're going to try it anyway. <laughs> okay. Uh, this is going to be testing my age and my um, sobriety levels. <laughs> You'll never be this young again, Alice. <laughs> yeah, there you go, right? We'll put a little reverb on this. Hold on there. There, see it. See how I do here. Drinking song, not necessarily a positive one. Don't slow down, keep the ceiling spinning around. If you slow, you know the truth will catch you tomorrow. Ah, oh, there's plenty of people here you could meet. If you could stand on your two feet, but you're stumbling street to street. Trying to drink away tomorrow Tomorrow Was I lying to you? Was I lying to myself? Now I'm lying wide away I wanted to run to you So my eyes could see your Yeah. 
All right, we got through it. Ah, oh, gorgeous, man. When in oh, doubt, gorgeous, just make man. the words up. <laughs> Good call, Alice. Good call, yeah. Alice. Ooh, I'm getting an echo. I'm hearing an echo. Thank you, guys. I'm hearing an echo. Here, yeah, I'll put my earphones oh. in. That's the thing. That's why it's done. Oh. Did you, um, did you, um, did they turn off maybe, Did they Alice? turn off maybe, Alice? Yeah, they did, I think. When I took them <laughs> off. We'll figure Let me see how I can that's I'll go to the settings. Um, here, maybe that'll help. Are we back? Is that better? Yes. Okay. Good. Can you hear me? I can. can. Great. Yeah, yeah. We're good. <laughs> There's always something. Man, I just love that chorus. I, I just, mm -hmm. I sing with you every time when, you know, they can't hear me, but. Thank you. I love, yeah. I love playing it. It's got that rhythmic thing of like, um, you know. So yeah. It's like a train yeah. in the background just rambling on and on and on. I remember on. at a show I saw you do um, kind of a breakdown of your style, like how you, the bass and the, the percussion kind of that you do. Is that, can you show us that? Sure, yeah. Um, I just think that's so cool how you, you broke it down, I remember. I have a song, uh, often I do it on a song called Maria's Beautiful Mass where it's... And please, just do another song, honestly. Do you mind doing one more? Sure. Right. Okay. So that's a kick and a snare drum. And it's a nice tone if you, you lay the, uh, the, the palm of your hand against the wood, the, the top, it's, it's actually... Then you bring in a bass so you don't have to hire Freebo. <laughs> <laughs> That's your thumb taking that over. Then the lead guitar. Asking for proof, I stand outside. You hear mission bells. Welcome to Maria's beautiful mass in a cluttered apartment on the west side. She pulls the blinds wide. You watch as her dress falls.
she says, what's in the middle that scares you? Does it dare you to take a moment? And just slow down. And the world slows, the clock shows, a wrinkle in the flow of time. She steps Don't don't tell me you used to be able to go yeah, an don't. octave higher than that. <laughs> I, I mean, ain't buying please. it. Oh well, yeah, it's a different. It's a different animal now, though, certainly. But thank you guys. Thank you oh, so much beautiful. for having me on the show. Yeah, thank you. It's um, it's about that yeah, time. But we we're thinking we'd do one more song. Um, I know that you do a version of Angel from Montgomery, uh, and yeah. I thought maybe we could do our our duet of that song oh, to, to, to close out the night, and then we'll we'll bring you back on to say goodbye. So, don't go All anywhere right. yet. Yeah. No more sneezing. Okay, see you in a second. <laughs> you know, it's always an honor to do this song, Ellis. And uh, you know, as you know, I played with Bonnie for many years, and, and she made the song famous. And I played it with her hundreds of times on bass and sang harmony. And uh, years later, just a couple of years ago, I decided I want to just kind of happened, came up with my own version, and I recorded that on my on my new record. I'm working on that now, and turned it into a duet uh, with Alice when we play live. So. This is uh, this is my version. This is actually our version of my version. Our version of your version. It, of 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 Bonnie's of version. Of Yalls's version. Of John's version of Angel from Montgomery. It goes like this. an old woman named after my mother my old man is another child has grown old his dream of thunder and lightning was desire this old house would have burned down such a long time ago make me an angel that fly
There's flies in the kitchen I hear them all buzzing And I ain't done nothing Since I woke up today How the hell can a person Go to work in the morning And come home in the evening And have nothing to say Make me an angel That flies from Montgomery Make me a poster Of an old rodeo Just give me one thing can hold on to to believe in this living is just a hard way to go to believe in this living is just a Goodbye to Ellis. Okay. The late great John Prime. Yeah. Yeah, I got blessed him. Where is Ellis? There he is. There he is. Gorgeous, really beautiful oh. arrangement there. Nice playing for you on, on uh, the break there. Gorgeous. I know, oh, I love thank that. You, man. It gets bluesy. Kind of came up with that. I said it needs needs a little something in there. <laughs> oh, it's just the right kind of dark. Oh, yeah, you. totally. Yeah. Oh, well. It's so nice to sit with you guys on the eve of Thanksgiving and it's share. It's been a pleasure. Really, thank you for having me. Thanks oh, for pleasure. spending this Alice, time I mean, with us. You are, you, you are the shit. You really are. Yeah, you know, so. And I hope our, our, I know our listeners have enjoyed this so much. And you guys should definitely check out, if you enjoyed Ellis's music, his Patreon page is very active. I have taken some tips from his Patreon. He does mm-hmm. so much amazing stuff on there. So check it out. If you want to hear more about him, you got you're doing tons of shows online as well. So follow Ellis on yeah, Facebook and yeah, doing three or four a week. So uh, we'll, we'll see you guys somewhere down the road. And uh, yes, keep in touch. Dave, happy holidays and uh, love you guys. Love and, you and too, Ellis. Ellis. Where, where can they find you for those people who just haven't been watching the chat? You know, where can they? Oh, I've been putting it, it up. Out? Yeah, I've been flashing it across the screen. And uh, Ellis Paul on Patreon. Those those are the two best places. Ta-da. We'll connect yes. all the all the dots after that. Great. Great. Well, thank you for gracing us with your presence yes. and have a wonderful, happy, happy wonderful Thanksgiving. Weekend. Everybody, Stay thank you all there. for watching. All right. Thank you for your support. Bye, Ellis. Thanks for your Bye. tips. See Bye, you. Buddy. Thank you, man. All right. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Um, it's so great to be here with you every week. It really, um, really makes my week. Yeah, me too. And uh, one more thanks to Enormous Rare Guitars uh, for, uh, for supporting us and uh, putting this on the uh, on the YouTube channel, and uh, we will be at Norm's uh, next week. Yes, uh, we will. with the wonderful Jimmy Vivino. Uh, Jimmy is a great guitar player, wonderful blues guitar player, uh, heck of a swell guy, and a uh, funny guy, and a fun guy. And uh, he's actually the uh, the MD, the musical director on the Conan O'Brien show. Yeah, had been for a while. So we're gonna have some fun. We're gonna be at Norm's for guitars. We're gonna be in the same room. Playing together, we're gonna to play with him. Gonna have him it's gonna play be with bluesy. us. It's gonna, it's gonna be bluesy. It's gonna be blue. Alice sexy, is even gonna come rockin'. up with. A, 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 we'll come up with a version of "Getaway Car" oh, for those of you who. I love get that, that song request all the time, and I never have quite figured out how to play it live. But we're gonna figure out kind of a, a shuffle version we of are, "Getaway Car." Be cool. So, and, uh, um, yeah. And, and so, also thank you to uh, uh, to Arpy and uh, for the Fair Trade Coffee. A congratulations to the winner. Fairtradecoffee.org. Uh, really good stuff. Thank you to Cordial Cables. Uh, thank you to Alert the Globe and Ron. And, yep. to, and uh, Laurie to Laurie Reimer for hooking us all up. Yep. And to uh, Kevin Wax and, and Mayor. <laughs> and Jen. And, and, and Jen. And, uh, I'm showing the it? sign and we're going to sign off. Oh. I had to show the sign. I made the sign. And, and to... Fishman. Fishman Amps. Okay. And to... <laughs> Audio Technica mics and really we we're we're so grateful and, and we thank love you, doing Freebo. this and we appreciate the help. And to Alice. <laughs> One Bye, day I'm everybody. gonna interview you on this show. Yeah, I would love it. You can interview me. Yeah, we can interview each other. 
go back and forth. Great. All right. Bye, everybody. Thanks, everybody. Have a great weekend.